Good morning. Good morning, Larry. It's Erica and Steve. How are you? I'm doing just fine, actually. That's a beautiful song you're playing right now, too, by the way. Love it. Yeah, it's Hallelujah. Do you know his name is Blessing? Oh, man. Uh, You know what? I'm going to go have my name changed to that. (laughs) (laughs) Larry, you are awesome, and it's such a pleasure to meet you. We already love you. You collected over 6,000 pairs of socks this holiday season. You stopped counting. Why? My mother, this is truly an honor to her life. She was all about the example of serving others. And um, having five sisters, I became an honorary Girl Scout because that's what (laughs) happens when you have five sisters. We truly spent a life of service uh, as her children between sock drives, coat drives, pie drives, serving those that had developmental disabilities. That was really my uh, entire childhood. So, you know, talk about a blessing. I was given a path to follow and That's what I'm doing. How did it feel, and how do you think you feel like it impacted you growing up like that? That's kind of all I knew. So I somewhat assumed, honestly, that this is what every family did. And I, as I got older, I learned that my mother was truly an extraordinary uh, human being. And so growing up, um, being you know frank and honest here, I I truly thought that this was just what life was to be. You know, again, I found out that I was brought into this tribe. Uh, by a a truly uh, extraordinary woman. And so that's the path I follow today. Mm, It's incredible, the impact of a mom. So, Larry, we know that socks are really important to people who are homeless. What kind of difference do they make? Well, first of all, socks are not just important to homeless people. Do you have socks on now? I do. Yeah. (laughs) See my point here? Yes. Socks are important, (laughs) truly. And I mean this in in the, you know, the most upfront way to all of us. It turns out, though, that you and I have a whole drawer full of socks. But uh, homeless people or people that live in shelters, they kind of have to be choosy, maybe wear the same socks for five or six days. So when we get an opportunity to take, like we did yesterday, a few thousand pairs of socks to Mary's place, that really um, it not only you know opens my heart, but I know it makes a huge difference for people and kids that get to have new socks to put on their feet instead of wearing the same ones that they've been wearing for a week. How about the folks at Mary's Place, the people who serve there? I mean, they must just be smiling ear to ear, Larry. Well, not only are they smiling, but Marty Hartman, who is the executive director and a special friend of mine, she's the living spirit of my mother. So for me to be able to go and serve to them and be with them is is truly like, you know, like being beside my mother again. Larry, it's beautiful. Thank you so much for catching the spirit in Seattle and beyond. We appreciate you. Well, we appreciate you. Thanks for getting God's work out there and continuing to bless us with beautiful music and also just reminding us that we are all God's children. Thank you, Larry. We appreciate you. Yep, thanks.